Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kana. Today, I'm going to share with you the most important travel essentials. Today's video is going to be in English, so if you need help, please press the CC button below. If you're interested in finding out what you will need if you plan on studying abroad, just keep on watching. Now, the first thing that I would like to recommend to you guys is desk lamps. Now, if you're a student and you're planning on traveling abroad, one of the things that you're definitely going to be doing a lot is studying in front of your desk. So you definitely need a good desk lamp. The Tautronic LED desk lamps have been my favorite for years. They come with a lot of awesome features. The first thing that I really like about these lamps is that they come with four lighting modes, and each lighting mode comes with five adjustment levels. This means that you will be able to use this light in different situations throughout the day. Essentially, it's kind of like having four lights in one single desk lamp. Now, another feature that I really like about the Tautronic desk lamp is that it comes with a one-hour auto-off timer. Now, this comes in extremely handy if you're a person like me who is scared of Of very dark rooms. Now, before bedtime, one of the things that I hate, absolutely hate, is to have to turn off all the lights, and then the room becomes pitch black, and you have to find your way and crawl into bed. I hated that. So after I got these lights a couple years back, I found that the best thing is that before I go to bed, I would turn on the one-hour timer, and then I'll crawl into bed, either read novels or use my phone a little bit. By the time I'm ready, the lights would automatically turn off, and I will not need to face that pitch darkness. And so yeah, this has been working very well with me, and that's one of the reasons why I recommend these lights to you. And another feature that is pretty cool with these lights is that on the sides they have USB charging. Ports. So if you need to charge your phone or if you need to charge any electronics, these come in very handy. I know for a fact that their newer models have wireless charging. So if you're a person that prefers to go cordless, definitely go check that model out. So the Tautronic LED desk lamps are available on Amazon for fifty-four dollars, which I think is very, very reasonable for the price. And They are available for Prime delivery, which means that if you place an order, you can generally get them within two business days. So yeah, definitely check these out. I absolutely recommend this to you guys. The second thing that I would like to recommend to you guys is actually this little dude right here. It's the Logitech M720 wireless mouse. If you're a student, you're probably working with two devices: desktop and a laptop. What I used to have is I would have a mouse for my desktop. Whenever I need to use my laptop simultaneously, I would have to reach out my hand and use the touch panel instead. But after I got this mouse, I find that it has definitely rocked my world. Because what you can do with this mouse is you can pair it with up to three devices. And it's super easy to switch from one device to another. All you have to do is just move your mouse from one end of the screen to the next end, and then it would just automatically transfer to your other device. You don't have to press anything, and it just—I feel like it's very efficient. Trust me, you have to experience the seamless transition to understand what I'm saying. Now, another thing that I really like about this mouse is that it comes with a lot of buttons here on the sides that you can customize, and it has a scroll here that you can also customize for the left and the right. What I like to do is customize the scroll. If I press the scroll to the left side, it takes me to the next page. If I do it on the right, it takes me to the previous page, and I find that it's a very intuitive design. It allows you to work ever so efficiently. So I have been really enjoying this product. It is by far one of my favorite mouses. Another thing that I really appreciate about their design is the shape of the mouse. As you can see here, it just comfortably fits your hand. So if you're a person like me who spends a lot of time on the computer, I do a lot of video editing. It doesn't strain your hand. I have used some mouse where it's a lot flatter. And so it, you, your hand just doesn't comfortably fit onto the mouse. So even though it's compact, you use it for long hours, your hand starts to ache a little bit, but not for this mouse. So yeah, if you're looking for a mouse, definitely consider the M70 from Logitech. Okay, now the third item that I would like to recommend to you guys is desks. If you've been following my vlogs recently, you would probably know that I upgraded my working corner back there. And one of the things that I purchased is the IKEA Scarsa table. It retails. For two hundred and fifty-nine dollars, 
I absolutely think it is one of the best decisions that I have made for 2020. Now, let me explain why. I'm a person that spends a lot of time in front of my table. I either do a lot of video editing or I do a lot of studying. And sitting for more than one hour makes my back stiff. And sometimes I feel like my circulation isn't working so well either. So what ends up happening is that I would have to kneel on the ground to accommodate the table height. But you know, then my knees become painful and it's just not working. But with the Scarsa table, it's very easy for you to adjust the table height. All you have to do is just crank it up. It's actually a pretty good workout for your arms as well. I am not exaggerating. After working for a while, you know, being able to move your arms a little bit is actually a pretty fun exercise. The Scarsa table comes in different sizes. The one that I got is a slightly bigger one, but they come in the smaller size. And the tabletops come in different colors too. So if you're interested, definitely go on to the IKEA website and check this model out. They also come with an automatic adjustable table, which is a little bit more expensive. I believe it's about 500 Canadian dollars, but I definitely think that an adjustable table is worth the investment. So if you're looking for a desk, definitely look into these. Right, so the fourth item that I would like to recommend to you guys is this electric heated throw blanket. For the English learners out there, the difference between a throw and a blanket is that a blanket is usually designed for you to use in bed. It's fitted size, so usually they come with twin size blankets, queen size, and king size. But for throw blankets, they're usually for you to use in the living room or your study area. It's usually designed to fit one person. And yeah, so that's the difference between a throw blanket and a blanket. So going back to why I think this is one of the awesome products that you need if you're studying abroad, this blanket is electrically heated from the range 36 to 42 degrees. It heats up fairly quickly, but not to a temperature where it gets dangerously hot. One of the good features about it is that it has three hour auto off mode. So you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn it off. I'm a person that gets cold hands and cold feet very easily, and it doesn't really matter if I were socks or if I wear more clothing or not. If I hadn't have this blanket, all I do is I snack. I would try to get hot cocoa and then instant noodles or uh, chips and all that. And it's just calories, calories, and calories and not healthy if you're doing the snacking during the night. So this blanket has definitely made my routine a lot healthier. What I used to use before I got this throw is I had a heater fan, like a mini heater. It definitely put a burden on the electricity output at my place. So what ended up happening was that the electricity went out a couple of times. And that's when I realized that it might not be the safest option for me. If you're living in a house, you definitely wanna prevent that kind of situation just to prevent any fire accidents from happening. And another thing that's awesome about this throw is that it's very easy to clean. All you have to do is detach the cord and then throw it into the washing machine. It usually dries up like within half a day. Awesome item, must have, get it. The fifth item that I would like to recommend to you guys is this down coat. This coat I bought from Macage. It is retail for, I think, around $1,100. What I like about this coat is the hood right here. It's made out of fur, so it is extremely soft. When you put it on, it's very comfy, and it just feels like you have a very warm blanket around your head, and that is so important when you're walking during winter time and it's snowing. Now, this is a very, very warm jacket. The down coats come in different fillings, so there are light down coats and there are heavy duty down coats like this. One of the best things about this, it is waterproof and windproof. So when you're walking and it's snowing at night, this definitely keeps you warm. You don't have to worry about the snow getting into your clothes and all. You definitely wanna consider investing into one of a better quality down coat. Of course, this is one of the higher end down coats. You can look into the more affordable ones. There are price ranges from 200 all the way to thousands and thousands of dollars. Now I'm going to make a separate video showing you guys all the different brands of down coats that you can find. If you're interested and you're looking for one and you need some opinion or advice, definitely keep an eye out for that video. Right, the sixth item that I would like to recommend to you guys is actually an everyday wear item, and that is sweatpants. So when I was in Taiwan, I usually like to wear shorts, but naturally when I came here, I realized that that's not gonna work because it's just too cold. So I've tried out different brands of sweatpants and so far, 
I think roots are my favorite. I find them the most comfy and the thickness is just right to keep me warm during fall and winter. They are slightly pricey. So I usually wait until they're on sale, like 20% off is when I usually get them. This retails for $74, but you know, it lasts a long time. And one of the reasons why I like it so much is that it's just casual wear. So you can wear it in the house and whenever you need to go out and run for errands, you can just wear this and run out. It just looks okay. So yeah, it's comfortable, keeps you warm, it's convenient. So recommend that you have one or two pairs at home. They come in handy all the time. Right, number seven, boots, 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 boots. Sorry, I didn't know why I did that, it was a little awkward. But anyways, if you are moving to a country or to a city that is going to snow, you definitely need a good pair of boots to get around. Now these three pairs are my current favorites. This is from Dr. Martens. I believe they retail for around 160 Canadian dollars. The only thing about these is that they are not waterproof. Now, if you're looking for boots for the winter time, I would definitely recommend you guys to first look for waterproof boots because you do not want to get snowy, icy water into your shoes when you're walking in the cold. For these, I like them so much that I try to make it work. What I do is I buy the waterproof spray and I just spray a lot, a lot of waterproof spray on it. And it usually works for about two weeks until it starts seeping water in. I'll have to respray it again. But you know, because I liked it so much and I've already broke into it. If you've tried Dr. Martin shoes, you know, when the, when you first start to wear it, it's really hard and it hurts a lot, but then after a while it starts to soften and then it becomes the wonderful boots. So yeah, I really like these. Now the other pair is the classic. If you're looking for boots, definitely look for the Timberlands. This worked for me a lot because it's the fleece fold down model. What you can do is you can loosen the laces and you can fold it down like this. And then it just gives you another look like this. And what I usually do is I like to pair this with a cuter dress and then it just gives like a cool, like a work industrial vibe. And then on the top it's cuter. So yeah, I really enjoy these boots and they retail for around $200. So these are slightly more expensive than the Dr. Martens. Now the last pair that I would like to share with you guys, if you guys are interested in heeled boots, Oh my goodness, these are awesome. They are from Blondo. So I believe this is like a smaller brand. They, they are just awesome. All right, so let me tell you why. They are waterproof in by itself. So you do not need to spray any waterproof spray. Another thing, which is the most important is that they are ultra comfy for walking. I have very picky feet. So usually when I wear even like a little bit of a heel boots, it really hurts. I can't walk for more than 15 minutes, but for these, I have been commuting with them. So basically I've been walking with them for more than an hour and it does not hurt at all. So I would definitely recommend it to people that are looking for boots that are made for walking. Cue the music. No, I can't because it's copyrighted. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the boots that I've been enjoying. If you're planning on studying abroad and you're moving to countries that snow, keep in mind, you need good boots. Eighth product that I would recommend everyone get is a good pair of sunglasses. Now you may think that it is not as hot as say compared to Asia, but the UV rays are still there, especially during summertime and winter time. You can still get in contact with high amounts of UV. You definitely want to prepare yourself from um, a lot of reflective services like the snow or the water or the windshield. I have definitely experienced it this summer where I was sunburnt a lot. If you don't protect your eyes, you could easily get a lot of serious problems like cataracts or photokeratitis. So definitely invest in one of the good sunglasses to protect your eyes. Now the ones that I got, I have been loving them. The Ray-Ban Club Masters. You can definitely look into the Ray-Ban brand. They sell a lot of the classic series. The price range is around 150 to 200. Whatever brand works for you is fine. Just make sure that they can really block out the UVs and it's just not only for, you know, fashion purposes. Moving on to the ninth item, which is the Crest 3D white strip. Now I bought this actually in a set with the blue light whitening device. So it comes together, but I know that they also sell this separately. The price range is pretty affordable. It's around $50 all the way to 120 if you get this device with it. When I was in Taiwan, I never noticed that my teeth were a little bit more on the yellow side. But ever since I moved to Toronto, I started noticing that a lot of my friends and classmates had very 
nice bright smile and their teeth were pearly white. So I asked a couple of them and they told me that they were using whitening strips on a regular basis. So I looked into it, tried it out. It worked wonders for me, but I do know that some people, when they try the whitening strips, they experience sensitive teeth. So definitely be aware that it might not work for everyone, but if you're looking for a product that might potentially help you with you know, yellow teeth, then definitely consider these. The pricing is okay, it's very affordable. So yeah, this is what I would recommend for teeth whitening. All right, so the last product or the last thing that I think everyone should get is a good foam plan. So there's actually no product that I can show you. This is based on what I've learned here after moving a year to Toronto. You would notice that the foam plan is very different from the ones you would get in Asia. Usually if we pay say $50 or $60, you get unlimited internet. There's no speed decreasing after a certain time. But here in Canada, you get very, very limited data. For me, I'm now getting a way better plan. What I have now is $45 for nine gigabytes. I know that for a lot of people that might seem very little and trust me, I am also still trying to get used to that. Definitely keep in mind that when you first move to a new city, you want to really look into the different service providers and ask around to see what plans they have. You can actually bring it up and tell them like, a provider offered me say eight gigs for $50. Could you do something that's better? And this is something that I learned from my friends. Sometimes when you ask this question, they sometimes bring out better offers or extra bonuses that they can give you. Sometimes they don't mention it on the very beginning. A good cell phone plan makes a world of difference. When I first came here, I only had four gigs for $50 and it just wasn't enough. Like you would be using Instagram or you would be using Google Maps and suddenly you run out of data. It's super expensive here. If you need extra data, it's $15 for one gigabyte. There's just no way I'm gonna pay that much for one gig. So what ends up happening is that I would have no data and I have to use my friends. I have to tether off their hotspot and it would be awkward and embarrassing, but then I would get stuck outside with no Wi-Fi, and then I can't contact my friends as quickly. Anyways, it's, it's just a mess. So try to find the best data plan that you can or cell phone plan that you can by doing comparison and a lot of negotiating with providers and make sure to get a good one because it will make a difference. Alrighty, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you found the information useful. If you have any other questions, feel free to just type it down there. I would be happy to answer your questions. If you like my video today, don't forget to click like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Have a great week. Bye guys.